As I had mentioned in a previous video, Code Push was created and is currently owned by Microsoft. Microsoft has made it a requirement that in order to use Code Push, you have to set up Visual Studio App Center. So to do that, you're going to want to go to appcenter.ms. Navigating to this page will render the content you see on the screen currently. And in order to create an account, you would click this Get Started button at the top right. The setup is extremely trivial. If you have a GitHub account, or if you already have a Microsoft or Facebook account, feel free to use any one of these social logins. Personally, I already have an account, so if I go here to continue with GitHub, it's going to take me straight to my account. This is what the Microsoft App Center looks like. It lists both my apps here, and I can click on this, and I can dive right in. Now, you may not see these apps yet, that's because we have not yet created them. To do that, we're going to use the App Center CLI. Go ahead and open a command prompt. Now we're going to install a global NPM package called App Center CLI. Run npm install g app center CLI and press enter. This is going to install the App Center CLI globally so you can access the command anywhere, no matter what directory you're in. After that is completed, go ahead and type in App Center just to verify that it works. This can also give you a view of all the different command options that you can run with the App Center CLI. We're going to go ahead and use the login function. So run App Center login. And this is going to use our browser to authenticate. The browser is going to give us this token. We're going to copy this, go back to the command prompt, and paste it in. At this point, you are logged in. <clears throat> Next, we're going to create two apps for our one app. One app is going to be an Android, the Android version of our app. The other one is going to be the iOS version of our app. To do that, create app center apps create and then dash D in our app name. In this example, I'll just call my app, um, but I would recommend naming it whatever the name of your app is. And then dash O for the operating system, and this one's going to be Android. And then dash P for the platform, which this is going to be React Native. Hit enter. That finishes successfully. Now do the same thing, but for operating system, switch out Android for iOS. Okay, that should be good. Now if I go back to the App Center, you can close out this window here that was open for authentication. Now if I go back home, I can see I have my app listed here twice. One for iOS and one for Android. Now if you were to dive in to this app and take a look around, this is what the app level view looks like in the App Center. For Code Push, you're going to want to look at this left hand pan and go to the Distribute option. If you click on it once, it's going to open up this right arrow. Click on this again and navigate down to Code Push. This is where you see everything for Code Push in the App Center. It's going to tell you that you have no standard deployments yet, uh, but this is where you would see a list of deployments. If I go back up to one of my existing apps and I go to the Code Push section, you can see that I have a previous deployment, so this is what it would look like. You can also switch between deployment keys, if you remember from our previous video. Up here at the top right, you have the deployment keys listed. So um, By default, you have production and staging. You can add other ones if you would so please. 
To add or remove existing deployment keys, click up here at the top right, and it lists your deployment keys here. And you can add one here, or you could remove one over here. At this point, we should be good to go with our App Center setup. 